Okay. okay, so we're here with uh, Tom, Tom Corbin, uh, visiting us from Florida, Miami, Florida, and he's um, a regular uh, therapist specialist who's trained with Piata, who's doing a workshop here in Vancouver on July 12th and 13th in 2008. So Tom is going to just demonstrate the features of the Schwa Medico Pointo Select Digital. So this is the Pointo Select Digital from Schwa Medico. And in the very beginning, the first thing that you have to do is to set the machine up, okay? Now, one of the things that is extremely critical is that you set it up correctly. This is for the handheld device. And as you can see, its opening will only allow it to go into the machine one way. Okay, that's the only way that you can put it in. You could not put this in upside down. This fits into the bottom here and should slide in quite easily. Now you have the handheld unit. The next thing you do is to take it out and you want to take the cap off. It's incredibly important that you keep all of the caps and all of the ties in the box so that you don't lose them. Okay? Now. I've you, already lost mine. Yes. He's already lost his. If you look, there is an arrow on here. That arrow points the way in which it should go into the machine, like this. Now notice that I put the handheld unit and the uh, locating stem before I put the battery in. Oh. You have to put this on before the battery. Why is that? Because there used to be, if you put it, the battery in before, it actually took a switch and took it off. You have to send it back to the factory. I don't know whether they corrected that, but in the very beginning, it had to be like this, and I haven't, I didn't want to take any chances. Now Wait I put my battery in. I always disconnect it. Okay. okay. No, the first time very first time you have to put the unit together like this yeah I don't know whether they've corrected that now, but then this slides in and now when I turn it on you will see that I have the machine set up if it says HF that means there is no handheld unit on there but this is set up correctly Okay. HF means what? No hand unit. Okay. okay. Now this is the on-off switch right here. And there are going to be other switches in which I'll go through. But the first thing you may want to do is you may want to set the sound. Mm -hmm. The amount of sound that you hear when you locate a point. In order to do that, it's a little difficult, so pay attention. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to put my hand on the negative and the M at the same time and then turn the machine on. The sound is now set at 2 and I'm going to take it up to the level that I want to take it up to which is depending upon the amount of noise in your clinic. I usually set mine at 6 or 7 and that way I hear the point. Okay, now I have that set up. So when I turn on and I locate a point now, I should be able to find a point and it's loud enough so that I can hear it correctly. Okay. First button I'm going to go through is the editing button. The editing button is going to allow me to work with the ear or the body and to locate points that are either gold or silver. Okay? I'll press it now. As you can see, I have a full battery. I am locating points on the ear, and the ear filter is set at 16. You can if set I, it for differently? You can if you want to put it in other modes, but I'll get into that in a little bit later. That's how I do it hmm. if there are many points on the ear. The next thing I can do with an edit is set it at GO. Now the point locator will only find gold points. If I were to hit the E again, 
the point locator now will only find silver points. If I hit it again, the point locator now can be used on the body and when it is a body locator, you no longer need it to be a bipolar point locator. What a bipolar point locator means is that you are measuring the electrical conductivity from the inside probe surrounded by rubber and the outside too. So the difference is between the inside probe and the outside tube. Because of the amount of points on the ear, you have to be very specific and you keep it on bipolar. When you're on unipolar, as you are on the body, you simply can either pull it back or put a small tip on, making sure that it stays on, and now you can either treat or find points on the body as you would with any point locator. Hmm. Okay? What? So that's... Okay, so that, that, that other cap in there is just to That other it. cap is to just put to protect it, to protect it, it. Yeah. yeah. To protect it, and that cap should always be put on because a couple things. Number one. One of the weaknesses of any machine, of course, are the wires. You want to take very good care of the wires and you want to take very good care of the tip here. The one thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to clean this off with alcohol. Mm -hmm. The reason is after a period of time, a year or so, the alcohol will cause the rubber to swell and you won't have a clean motion here. Mm -hmm. So what they do, they advise you to do in the book is to use cotton wool. I don't know what cotton wool is. I use a two by two gauze and I just simply wipe off the edges mm -hmm. of it. Because at times you're going to find that you're going to get scales on the point locator from working in the ear. Mm. Okay.